Hi everyone. Um, today I wanted to show you how to erase set and stitches um, below um, another design. So what I have here is an LSU applique um, pattern that I bought from Etsy and um, I've imported the letters to spell tigers on top of it and I've manipulated it a bit um, to rotate it. Um, but this is just for the purpose of this demonstration. Um, what I wanted to show you is that, uh, so the, the tiger's wording, um, this is the veggie burger um, alphabet, by the way. Um, the tiger's word is set and stitches as well. And if I leave the set and stitches um, below it, it gets to be kind of a lump where these stitches cross. Um, and if you're, especially if you're putting an applique um, on top of um, set and stitches, so if this big E, for example, were a big round applique, if I left the set and stitches below it, you would definitely be able to see the little hills that um, the set and forms below it. So um, in order to do this, what I generally do, um, remember the LSU is an applique, so I have um, the placement stitches for each of the letters, which are this teal color. Um, the yellow is the tack down. And then the purple is um, the actual satin. And I normally leave the positioning, um, the placement stitches and the uh, tack down intact. So, uh, you know, it actually goes through the fabric, but I do want to erase the little bits of satin that go under my letter. letter. So the first thing that I do is um, I hit control and I click on, because all the letters are separate blocks here. Um, this is the five by 12 repositionable hoop, by the way. Um, I hit the, so I select all of the satin that I want to erase. This is very important. If you just run the eraser, it will erase everything. Um, and now I want to zoom in to get real close um, to what I want to erase. So I'm just using my zooming tool um, to get just a little bit closer here. So this is okay. So now um, all you have to do is click on the little um, open cutting toolbar icon. Um, is this little scissors up here. So when you click on that, um, this little eraser is going to pop up. By the way, this is the same icon that you would use if you want to split a pattern, if you, you want to cut something in half or cut a piece off, which we could do here as well. But I think that the eraser works just fine. So click on the eraser and your, uh, your pointer is going to turn into this little square and just drag it down over where you want to erase. Um, and if your processor is a little bit slow like mine, it may take a little while. Um, I don't erase all the way. Um, I do want a little bit of overlap um, just to ensure that I don't have a gap right there. So that's a piece that I wanted to take out. Um, and here under the, the little leg of the T, I want to take out that little piece. Uh, maybe get a little bit closer there. I want uh, the corner under the eye and I'm just clicking, I'm not dragging, I'm just clicking so that I can be really precise. You can also zoom in closer. Um, there's a piece under the G. So you just can click on it or you can drag across it. Um, but anyway, you just keep zooming in and erasing the pieces that are below the other stitches or below an applique or, or whatever you want to take out. So when my um, purple color stitches, actually there's going to be a little bit of a jump stitch between these two halves of the ass, for example, um, but that's that's okay and I, I'll clip them sometimes, uh, sometimes I, I don't, but the, the bottom line is that you don't make it a lot smoother when these stop stitches are going through. Um, so anyway, so that's how you do it. And then you have to hit close in order for this to take effect. Um, close. And then it's going to ask me, do you want to, do you wish to perform pending erasers before closing? And obviously, yes, I want to erase that. Um, and now you can see, I think there's a little hiccup here on this L, but that's okay. Um, now you can see that my orange is covering, but when I click on the L, for example, sorry, that's the S. 
when I click on the L, you can see there are jump stitches be between, and um, I've stitched this before. It looks kind of bad and bulky here, but it really isn't. It is stitched with one single stitch, more like what you see here. So anyway, so that's how you would er erase um, the bottom satin stitches on whatever you're putting if you have a big overlap. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and happy embroidery.